Hi guys, um, today I wanted to show you this book, this what, PDF uh, book I got recently. It's quite an old guide, solo wargaming guide. Recently, it could be a couple of months ago, that um, I found very interesting. Uh, well, it's, it's not a book with pictures that will be easy for you to follow, but um, I will do a quick flick through. I like getting PDF books because I print them and I usually scribble on the books, I make notes so I, I won't damage you know, the original and I have always the PDF. So you know I'm doing my Poitiers campaign for the last year, preparing two large armies with um, from Claymo castings and uh, my old impetus based uh, miniatures that fit the period. And uh, well, my dream as a war gamer was to make a very interesting campaign that it would last for quite some time and the battles that will fight will have a meaning. So I got this book to get some ideas, although from my experience I have quite a few ideas um, about my campaign. So this solo war gaming guide is written by William Sylvester, Sylvester and it's about um, solo war gaming but also about campaigns. It has a very, you see very interesting here, the table of contents. Um, air warfare also in the end. So the introduction, you have a small introduction. That rather than being a set of rules, this guide details and expands upon various options available to solo war gamers. And it goes on talking about um, his uh, design concept. So um, what I want to show you, it's a chapter one campaign level. Um, first step is the map very interesting of course the map how you draw the map uh, then uh, he's talking about um, your movement rates here you have it this is something it's the basics that all of us will have to get an example of my map here is my Poitiers map um, my Poitiers campaign map um, Black Rins will start from Bordeaux. I've tried to portray the area as best as possible with different cities and with fixes and different movements here. As you can see here, the terrain road, poor infantry road would move to Hex per turn, and good road, etc. So I have similar um, similar ideas. And if you go through a difficult terrain, mountains or uh, wood, wooded areas, um, so the map is here. I think it's good. I think um, here are some close-ups. I think it's an interesting map. I try to follow uh, uh, the, the Black Prince's campaign uh, with all the major cities he passed from or sieged or besieged. Um, so here he talks to you about different movement rates. Um, and then and again, the seasonal time, that's important because uh, later on the book, um, uh, when the season changes, the movement rates change. Uh, these are mobilization rules. That's another interesting thing that I haven't thought about, that you can um, uh, class a city A, B, C, D, and depending on your time scale, time frame in the, of, of your campaign, you will have, you know, two to five regiments, one to five regiments, three it, it depends on uh, re reinforcements. Um, and this is his map with the hexes you see very close to my map let's go to them to the one that is not close up so you can have an idea so here it's close to my map i believe this map is quite good i have all the area that the prince fought uh, excuse me uh, this was made by um wonder draft uh, i have a, a video showing how it works um, you can see it here in the cards on the top of the video but i have it in the channel so we'll continue this i'm not going to go and this is a very interesting thing, I didn't thought about it. It's um, plan utilization. Uh, you're creating three plans, I can imagine, regarding your strategy. And regarding the dice roll, this will be the plan that it will be ad adopted. Three, or as many as desired, invasion and defense plans are drawn, naming a specific mobilization center upon which each army concentrates before advancing. A dice roll is used to determine which of the plan is utilized. Very interesting, this I haven't thought of. Uh, then you go initial mobilization and reaction. This uh, go into more detail. Uh, competency role. Uh, it's a very interesting book that gives you a lot of ideas. I mean, it gave me a lot of ideas regarding uh, the campaign time and transportation, um, seasonal time chart. There's a lot of charts. Uh, 
that you can utilize um, in your campaigns. Uh, there's, not, there's not much to see here, this attack your position, this deployment. There's not much to see because it's basically written. But you can get, at least from the titles, ideas, weather, weather is a very interesting, um, how the weather changes regarding the dice run here is a very interesting weather chart that regarding your dice roll you will move your um, I don't know you can put a, a type of some kind of mark there and you would see and depending on the month and uh, you would see uh, let me rotate it sure and you would see um, what type of weather there is you see fog light rain heavy rain fair snow and re regarding this you will have equivalent rules of maybe you know with snow people will slow down you will need more provisions uh, for fog the line of sight will be would be much much different would be much so you know that you won't be able to see as far as uh, you would probably be able to see um, uh, with the clear weather so quite a, quite interesting strategic movement with weather this is what I was saying to you about my campaign also I was planning to move uh, infantry two hexes but maybe with bad weather you you may move for one or three and two but it depends of course we'll see about this um logistics and attrition this is a very interesting um tie, uh, paragraph um i read it and actually i i'm gonna utilize it in my uh campaign rules um logistic attrition provisions um and uh, how many um uh, provisions every city depending on its uh, on its uh, uh, size can provide the army um, and here is also here's a sample calendar uh, that you can um, use and monitor your campaign again another very interesting subject is town sizes and recruitment so that depending on the class of the, of the town you will have recruitment per year per month depending on your campaign if you go here we have, for example, we have Bordeaux, a big city that will have recruitment, more recruits in the future. But you have smaller, smaller towns as uh, Rachesoir, uh, Brantome, Limoges, maybe will give you more. So another uh, interesting concept that I'm going to use in the campaign also. Uh, but also, of course, there is a uh, moral factor uh, you have here. Uh, alliances, you get unreliable allies, the strength of the alliance. Um, state of the alliance very very revolts this is another very interesting uh aspect that i haven't thought of my campaigns revolt you create a chart and how many years uh, occupation and depending on your die roll you will see if there is a revolt or no every year or every depend on your your uh, campaign rules of course this can be made months if it's a chevache uh, of course um a revolt can be uh, handled if you have a uh, garrison so another um interesting uh, aspect to add in your campaign he's talking about sieges and defense factors um, there's, it's, there's a lot of stuff here that you can put in the campaign uh, and he has a lot of good ideas food and ammunition cards so you can he utilizes also cards something very interesting you can use cards to see the supply of food and everything so ace five day food supply the two is a 10 day food supply three is a 20 day food supply so um, Mutinies, another very interesting uh, uh, idea. Let's start book. Chapter two. We have sea campaigns. You have sea campaigns. It's um, it's a really interesting book, a really interesting book, and I got many um, good ideas that I will work uh, in my uh, campaigns, in my campaign, my Poitiers campaign. Hopefully, this summer. Uh, the map is ready in my opinion tell me what you think uh, it looks quite good uh, it will be printed and then um, hopefully uh, with the help of this book I can um, uh, I can uh, create and I um, chapter 3 personal touch there's a lot of information interesting information ideas from the writer that um, um, was very interesting to me and they gave me a lot of ideas regarding, uh, you know, extra, um, uh, here it goes, fact, fiction, and fantasy, extra ideas for my campaigns. Anyway, guys, um, just a short uh, flick through for uh, this uh, really uh, interesting book. Not much to see, but um, really helpful for my campaigns. The Solo Wargamer Guide, uh, I think it's quite an old book, so many of you may have it. Um, 
this is from me uh thank you for watching and bye bye stay safe